Okay, guys, we are in the OR at Austin Eye, and I'm here with a life-size version of the Clearview 3 lens. And you may be wondering, what on earth is a Clearview 3 lens? In my opinion, this lens is one of the best lenses available in 2024. It's a segmented bifocal lens, which means that one portion is set for distance, another portion for near, and in the middle you get this like blend zone that allows for intermediate correction for computer distances. The vision quality out of the box is really high with the clear view, and patient satisfaction is quite high. Because there are no rings on the lens, patients do not have halos in dark settings with bright lights, but they can have this sort of streak or X-like shape that they see due to the ridges or transition zones on the lens. All in all though, if you don't want a halo, this is sort of the way to go if you want a full range. Things to keep in mind, it is a pupil dependent lens. It's a refractive style lens, not diffractive. So you need a pupil greater than 2.75 millimeters or three millimeters to be safe in my opinion. And you need a low level of astigmatism, less than one diopter of astigmatism, which you can kind of get around with a limbal relaxing incision or various other ways to reduce astigmatism. So it's not a big wall for most surgeons. Another thing to keep in mind with the clear view is that it is hydrophilic acrylic. Hydrophilic, a little different. So in the past, there was this concern with hydrophilic materials that they can opacify. In fact, some did. Now, this newer material that LensTech makes, they claim, and they've made official statements on this, the rate of opacification is extremely low and very unlikely. If you have any concern about opacification, maybe the patient's at risk for a DSEC, DMEC, some sort of retina surgery in the future, and maybe you shouldn't be putting a premium lens in and maybe you shouldn't be putting a clear view lens in. So just think about the context of what's going on with the patient. Uh, but if they are a good fit for a premium lens and they meet the specific parameters for a clear view, it's a good option to discuss with the patient, especially if they're halo averse is, is what I'll call it. I'm very happy to have this tool in our toolkit and I hope you enjoy this video. Have a good one. Bye.